Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another complete tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a photography website in WordPress. Today, for page design, I will use the most popular WordPress page builder Elementor. So here, we need not to do a single line of coding. We can make our dream website just by simple drag and drop. Here, I will use the free version of Elementor. So, you need not to spend too much money for it. Only need to purchase your domain and hosting. And in this tutorial, I will also show you how you can get 60% discount through my link. Finally, I can say you this is a photography website, but following this process, we can make any type of WordPress website. Before moving forward, let me introduce myself. I am Farjan Rashid, professional web designer and developer and I am working in this area for last 8 years. So you are learning from a real web developer. Now let's have a look which you are going to make in today's video. This is the website which you are going to make in today's tutorial. I will show you how to create this kind of custom header area, how to create our own logo and how to upload our own custom logo how to create this kind of menu and in the left side here I will show you how to add some social icons and links and on the right side here is a custom link and next here I will show you how to create this kind of background image slider and also how to add this type of text here I will show you how to add this type of call to action button so when people click on this button, it will redirect to the portfolio page and on the right side here is another button, it will link to our contact page. Then here is the portfolio category and from here if we click on any specific category like wedding, we can see the single gallery page for this specific category like here is the wedding photography and if we scroll down here is the image gallery so all these images is related to this specific category i will show you how you can create this type of category and when you click on an image this will be popped up in a light box mode now going back and in the similar way we can link all the single pages to our category box then here is a small section about me so here you can type some small text about you and here is a read more link so when you click on this read more button it will redirect to our single about page and in this page we can type more details about me after that here I have added a testimonial section here I will show you how we can create the whole page from scratch so here is more flexibility you can also create a different section or a new section as per your need then finally here I have added a blog post section so if you have some blog post you can display some of your featured blog post on this area and finally these are coming from our footer section I will show you how you can create this type of custom footer area with Elementor here these images are coming from our Instagram feed I will show you how you can link your own Instagram images to this area and also show you how you can create this kind of custom footer for this website I try to maintain the minimal design and minimal font all over the website so you can also create your own design own font style and own color and here I'll show you how you can create all other pages like pricing so from here you can add your specific packages for different category and also some feature and pricing and in the bottom area here is a small FAQ section so here you can add some specific question and answer for your customers and here is a blog page I will show you how you can create this kind of blog page and finally the contact I will show you how you can create this kind of contact page and on the right side here is a small form so I will show you how you can create your own custom form and when people submit this form all this information will redirect to your best email address and in the bottom area here is some contact information I'll show you how you can create this and for
for all this page design I will use the Elementor page builder so to show the power of Elementor just click on this top area edit with Elementor now from here if we want to change any text like this one just keep our cursor here and start typing and in the similar way if we want to change any image like for this one just click on this edit column and going to style tab and from here we can upload our own image and for all other section in the similar way if we want to change any text just keep our cursor here and from here we can add our own text and also if we want to change this image just click on edit image and from the left side we can add our own image in this tutorial I will show you how to create all these sections from scratch so you will get a complete and clear idea how you can create any sections as per your need and finally if we check the responsive view of this website we can see this website is completely ready for phone and if we check the tablet view this is also looking good in tablet all right so far you see if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and in the description you will find a timestamp so you can jump any specific part you need i have divided this tutorial into eight simple steps i will show you how to get your own domain and hosting and here i will show you how you can get 60 percent discount through my link then i will show you how to install wordpress then how to install wordpress theme how to install all necessary plugins and then how you can create our home page from scratch how to create our header and footer area how to create your own logo for free and how to upload your logo and finally I will show you how to create all other pages and how to create our menu now go ahead for the first step getting your domain and hosting if you have your domain and hosting already you can skip this part or if you don't have then follow along so to get domain and hosting just go to fajana and here go to tools and here is web hosting here is bluehost web hosting link so now click on get started so why bluehost in my opinion bluehost is the best web hosting provider I am a web developer, I tried so many web hosting companies, I don't want to mention their name but I personally ended up using Bluehost. Hundreds of my clients using Bluehost and they never complain about using it. If you see my Bluehost account, I have hosted here tons of websites and I never get a downtime. Their customer support is really amazing in case if you need any help and that's why I always recommend Bluehost and their price is really affordable for everyone now click on get started you can see their pricing so you have different options based on what you need if it's your first website and you only want to host one website then you can take their basic plan and if you have multiple websites more than one you can pick their plus or choice plus options though both options are almost same choice plus options have domain privacy plus protection and site backup options but we don't necessarily need that and you can take their pro plans if you are planning to host a big e-commerce website and if you have millions of visitors already as a beginner let's start with the basic plan it will cost only three dollar 95 cent per month and you will get one website 50 gb ssd storage unmetered bandwidth free ssl certificate standard performance one included domain five part domains and 25 subdomains and in this price it's awesome 
but in future if you have multiple websites you can upgrade it to your plus plan so basically we can upgrade or downgrade our plan anytime now let's click on select now if you have domain name already you can type your domain name here and configure it i'm assuming you don't have a domain name already so let's select a domain name from here on the right side you see there are several options .com, .online, .site, .website and so many options. But I always suggest to take .com website because it's good for search engine optimization and also .com website looks more professional and legit. So here I am selecting a domain name for this tutorial purpose. So I'm typing here for Jana wp so my domain name will be fajana wp.com and i'm clicking to next so here is showing the domain name fajana wp.com is available awesome now i need to put my account information here so here i'm typing my first name last name my business name and selecting my country and here is my state address city postal code and he typing my phone number and email address and here the email address is really important so make sure you are putting your best email address because after completing purchase a receipt will send to that email address now here is the package information by default it's selected for 33 months that means for three years and if you now see the price is showing three dollar 95 cent per month but we can reduce this price here we only take the necessary things for studying we can take it for one year that means for 12 months and it will cost five dollar 95 cents per month it's still pretty cheap so now we can see the total price 71 dollar 40 cent for a whole year that's awesome and here i will show you a secret tip how you can reduce this price more so now i'm going to hover outside of this page so when I'm going to hover on back button or outside of this page, here we will see a pop-up window which will offering you last price $2.65 per month. Now click on claim savings and now you can see the price $2.65 per month when 3 years selected. So now I'm going to select 12 months price again and here you can see the total price now showing $59.40 for a whole year. It's amazing. Now I'm going to package extras and here you can see domain privacy price protection which is adding more prices here. So you can select or deselect domain privacy. Having domain privacy is good, no one can get to know who is the owner of the website, but I am deselecting it because I want to be transparent and it's not that important to me at this moment. I am also turning off site lot security and code guard basic. I don't need site lot security and code guard basic either, so I am deselecting those as well. So now you can see the total price is now $59.40 for a whole year. Now here I'm putting my payment information. So here I'm typing my credit card number and here I'm putting my CVV code and expiration date. And now also select this check icon. So you are agreed with their terms and policy. And when you complete purchasing through my link, you see you are getting a huge discount. 
and I will also get a commission. So nothing extra, that's a win-win situation. Thank you for that because it supports this channel and help me to make more valuable videos like this for you. So now click on submit. Okay, so now you can see your purchase was a success. We sent a confirmation email to deviat at gmail.com. Now I'm going to check my email. So here I got an email here. So here is the verification email for my purchase. I'm going to check it and verify my email. So now my email is verified successfully. And next, I will get uh, another email. Here is my payment confirmation and, and here Bluehost sent me an invoice for my purchase. Now from here, we have to create an account. Here is my domain name and here I have to type a password. I'm typing my password and retype it checking on their privacy policy and create account okay now save it so your account is ready to go you can log in so now i'm going to log in here i need to type my password which i already created now and log in i'm saving it for now i'm skip it because I will do it later with you in step by step. I'm clicking on get started. Turning off domain privacy and protection and confirm it. Alright, we have successfully completed purchasing our domain and hosting. So next we are going to install WordPress. To install WordPress, go to my sites. And from here, we are going to create size. And then site name. So here we can type WordPress website. And site title, we can type complete tutorial by Farjana. And next here is a advanced option. So by default, if we don't fill all this field, so it will take the default email address from this Bluehost account and default username and it will generate a auto password. So now I like to set all this by manually. So I'm typing my email address, then username and password. So there should be one uppercase and one number okay so now click on next and here is the domain name so our wordpress is going to install here and here is subdirectory so if we want to install our wordpress in a subfolder or subdirectory location then we can type here some name or our folder name but here i want to install our wordpress in root domain so for this I am just leaving it and going to next. It's taking some moment to install it. Our WordPress installed successfully. Congratulations. So here is our website URL and here is our admin URL. Here is our username and password. Now I am going to login WordPress. Yes, congratulations, we have successfully installed our WordPress and this is our WordPress dashboard. And when you click on visit website, this is our WordPress website. Here default WordPress theme is installed by default. Okay, so after installing WordPress, now we are going to cleaning up our WordPress dashboard. So from here I am just leaving all these which I don't need here I'm just crossing these are coming from our plugin settings so for this I'm going to plugins and selecting all plugins first I'm going to deactivate which are activate here and now selecting all and going to delete and apply okay 
so I'm deleting all plugins which I don't need here actually I want to build this website from clean state and going to start from scratch then I'm going to post I'm just deleting this default post selecting it move to trash and apply and next going to trash and empty trash next going to pages and similar way selecting all pages going to move trash and apply now going to trash and empty trash and next here I'm going to settings and going to reading so from here I'm just discourage search engine from indexing this site so for the first time as I am building this website and I'm not ready to go indexing my website from all search engines so for this time I'm just disabling this website from search engine indexing so it will not index by Google or any other search engine until I'm going to live my website so now I'm going to make save changes so when our website is done and we're going to ready to live and we are going to do some SEO works then we can make it deselect for this time I'm just checking it and next I'm going to permalink so the permalink is the page URL so if we want to create a new page or new post it will show the page URL in this way or for example here is the best way to show our website URL so this is our website URL and then if we post any new item like how to make a WordPress website then our post URL should be our main domain URL slash how to make a WordPress website slash so it will be user friendly and it will be SEO friendly so I am selecting this one and going to save changes and next I am going to appearance so here you can see these all are default theme of WordPress so now if we just go to the visit site we can see it's looking like this and now if we just uh, activate another one like 2020 and now if we go to visit website so this is a completely different look from the previous one and now for this tutorial I'm going to install a new theme so for that I'm going to add new and here I'm searching for hello and here is the theme hello Elementor so basically here we can use any kind of theme because for designing our pages and header footer we will use the Elementor builder so here it doesn't matter which theme we are going to use so this is a kind of blank theme recommended by Elementor so here I'm going to install this one and going to activate and now if I refresh our website you can see our website look is changed and also this is kind of a blank theme alright so here now we are going to install the Elementor they are recommending so now I'm going to install Elementor and all necessary plugins now click on install Elementor and activate plugin and now I'm going to install some more plugin going to add new and here I'm searching for Elementor header footer so first I'm going to install all plugins Elementor header and footer builder installing this one then essential add-ons for Elementor this one I'm also going to install this one then WP form here is the WP form plugin I'm also going to install this one and finally for Instagram feed I'm also going to install a plugin for Instagram feed and this is the plugin smash balloon social photo feed and this plugin will work for our Instagram feed so going to install and finally going to installed plugin and from here we can select all this plugin together and from top here is activate and click on apply so all plugin is now activated and it's now redirected to the settings page of our essential add-ons plugin so from here you can 
save some changes go to next and from here we can set some element for essential add-ons which we can enable from here here is the post grid post timeline we can skip it and from here we can select the WP form and all is good now then going to next also next we can skip all these for now and click on next and finally finish and save changes all right so now we are good to go for our next step so now i'm going to create our first page so going to page and here first i'm going to create our home page so going to add new and here first i'm creating our home page so type home and publish and now i'm clicking on this edit with elementor and first we can see here is showing the page title we can make it off so click on the bottom left corner settings and here is the height title and save changes and before going to start our home page design first i am going to add some global settings for our font style and color so going here and going to site settings and first i'm going to add some global color so for this tutorial i will use this color code and this font i will leave this file download link in my description so you can also get from there and first i'm going to change the text color so i'm going to copy this color code and going here changing the text color and also we can change the secondary color to our text color and for the primary color we can also keep it like this black and the accent color instead of this green we can use the light pink color and here we need to add these two color one is the white and one is the light background color for any sections so i'm going to also add these two color going to add white and from here i'm typing the color name to white and also going to add a new color so this will be the light background i'm going to copy this one paste it and type here light bg all right so our color code is added and next we can set our font family and going back then from here global fonts so for primary font we can use this font the first one and also for the secondary one and for the text and accent we can use this second one nunito and finally we can set a, another font style like bad script so we will use this font for our page banner area so going to add a style and from here we can set the font family to bad script and we can also set the font size font weight and all this style so we can change it later when we start designing for now i'm okay with this and we can change the font style name to page title and finally i am saving these changes now i'm going back to the page design so for Elementor page builder here mainly two different options one is for start from scratch so we can start our page design from scratch and the second one so going here here we will find some pre-made layout for our pages and also some blocks so we can import any pre-made layout for our website and also from here we can import any templates for our pages and the third one we can skip this one this is coming from our essential add-ons plugin so for now i'm not going to use this one so for the home page i'm going to start from scratch and from here we can select different kind of layout so these are basically the structure of our section so for the first section we can take the simple one we can take the one column structure and now if we click on this plus icon so from the left side we can see here is different kind of widgets from elementor so we can take any one from here for example here i'm taking the heading text 
and here we can change our text by clicking here or from the left side so for example here I'm typing for Janarushid photography and now if we want to change the font style so we can also do that so from the bottom area here is the text alignment we can make it to center and if we want to change the font style so going to style tab and from typography we can change the font family to bad script or if we click on this custom you can see here is the font style which we set we can select the page title and also we can change the font size to like this and from here we can change our font color for now I'm leaving as blank and for this section we can set a background image or background color or we can set a section height so going to edit this section and from here we can set the section height to mean height so by default it's taking the 400 pixel height we can set it to 500 and now I'm going to add a background image for this section so going to style tab and here is the background type so here we can set a image we can set background color or here is the background gradient option so we can also set any gradient color for our background here is the video option so we can set any video for our background and finally here is the slideshow so for now i'm going to add the slideshow option for this section so going to add and here i'm going to upload some images going to select file and here I'm going to add some image for our slide and now going to create a new gallery and we can also change the image position if we want and insert gallery and we can also change the font color to white click on this font and from text color we can change it to white and for the background we can also set a overlay so we can see the text more clearly so going to edit section and scroll down so here is background overlay background overlay type so from here we can set the color to black color so we can see now we can read our text very easily and now for this section we can add more style so here you can also add a section divider in bottom area or top area so going back and in the style tab here we will find the shape divider option and going to the bottom and type so from here you can select different kind of shape like drops mountains we can set this one and from here you can also set the color for now I'm okay with this and here is the width and height we can change the height and we can also change the direction so we can make it to flip so it's now in the left side and now save changes and now we can add a second text to our banner area so for that we can also click on this nine dots icon and here we can also take another text heading and alignment to center style tab and we can change the color to white and here I'm changing our text capture your best moments and we can also change the font style so the font family is now primary you can leave it and the typography we can make the text transform to uppercase and we can decrease the font size we can make it to 22 and font weight we can make it to 100 and here we can also add letter spacing space between our font and finally we can add a button after this text so again going back or here you can add two buttons if we want so that case we can take a inner section and into this section we can take a button so click here and here is the button we can set the alignment to right and for styling this button I'm going to the style tab and here we can make the background color to transparent so here is the background type color we can change the color to transparent and border type we can set the border type to solid border width one pixel and border color we can set the accent color and we can set the background color on hover so going to on hover and 
background color I'm setting the background color to this light pink and the text color on hover I'm setting it to the text color and font style I'm going to the typography and text transform to uppercase adding some letter spacing and for the button we can change the font family to this one and also we can decrease the font size we can also increase the letter spacing and now I'm going to change the font text so going to content and text I'm typing view portfolio and here we can set a link to our portfolio page for now I'm leaving it as it is and for the second one we can copy the button and paste it here and all is okay only you can change the alignment so from alignment I'm making it to left and also you can change the text so here I'm typing contact me and for the top area here you can also change this font size a bit and also you can increase this font size and for this section if we want to change the height of this section so going to edit section layout and from here we can increase the height as we want from here we can check the full screen mode so it's looking like this and finally we can check the design for our phone and tablet view so for that in the bottom area in left side here is the responsive mode and from here we can switch back to the tablet view here is the phone view here is the desktop so first going to the tablet and from here we can change our font size going to this font and typography from here we can set the font size to 50 and also we can change this font size I'm making it to 18 and button is ok and we can also change the height going to edit section and mean height we can set it to 400 looks good and now going to the phone view so from here we can change the font size and here we can also increase the line height and this font size we can also change this font size I'm making it to 16 pixel or 12 pixel and for phone view we can change the alignment to center for this button and also for this one and here we can also decrease the spacing between this text so going to edit column and widgets spacing we can make it to 0 or we can make it to 10 looks good and here we can also change the section height so going to edit section and from minimum height we can set it to 300 or I'm making it to 450 looks good and finally I'm saving it now going back to the desktop mode so in the similar way I'm going to create our second section if you don't like to create all sections from scratch I will also leave the JSON file for all pages so you can download that file and import all pages if you want so for now going to the next section and first I'm taking the one column structure so here I'm adding our section title click here and this time I'm taking the divider and here add element I'm adding text inside of this line so text I'm typing browse by category and for font style going to style tab here is the text style and typography font family is ok going to edit and font size I'm making it to 16 pixel text transform to uppercase and font weight we can make it to bold and here we can also add some letter spacing one and we can also change the line color so going back to the divider and here is the color I'm decreasing the opacity all right looks good and here we can add some spacing in the top of this section going to edit section going to add font step and for margin first I'm making it to unlink and for top 
I'm making it to 80 pixel. I'm making to 50 now because with this divider here is some more spacing. And now for the second section, again I'm taking a new section, one column structure, and inside this I'm taking a inner section. First I'm removing the second column and for this section I'm taking a text and here this will be our portfolio category so for the first one I'm typing wedding and making the text alignment to center and for this section I'm adding a background image so going to edit column and going to style tab background type here I'm going to upload the image for wedding insert media and position I'm making it to center center repeat to no repeat and size I'm making it to cover and here we can set some padding in top and bottom so going to advanced tab and padding first making it to unlink and for top I'm making it to 400 and for bottom adding 20 and in this bottom area we can add some overlay so going to layout going to style tab background overlay and going to gradient color so the color the first one I'm making it to transparent and the second color I'm making it to a dark color and the first color position I'm increasing it to 80 and the second color position like this and opacity we can increase the opacity and the text we can change the text color to white going to style tab color to white and the typography I'm making the font size to 16 pixel text transform to uppercase and also going to add a letter spacing and also you can decrease the font weight like this and now we can simply duplicate this column so going to edit column right click and duplicate and duplicate one more time and now for these two item we can change the text and image so going to edit column going to style tab and for image I'm going to upload two more image couple and newborn selecting this one and we can also change this text to couples and also for this one going to edit column style tab and changing the image to this one and we can change this text to newborn and here if we want to add any link with this text so in the bottom area here is a link option so from here we can add a specific page link for this newborn and in the similar way we can add link for couples and wedding and now if I want to add some spacing between this column so going to edit this inner section and column gap from here we can set column gap here column gap is added but the problem is we take the image as background image so it's also covering the spacing between this column so here we can try in a different way I'm taking a new section this time I'm taking a three column structure and for the first column in the same way I'm taking a inner section and now I'm removing this column and in this column area we can move this top area column so I'm taking this one and now removing the another one and in the similar way for the second two I'm taking an inner section removing one column and for the second one I'm taking the whole column and drop it here and also removing the blank one and for the third one first taking a inner section and removing this one column 
and similar way taking this whole column and drop here and removing this blank one and now we can delete this blank section and if we want to change the spacing between these so this time I'm going to the outer section and column gap so it's working as default we can make it to narrow so now it's looking like this and finally for this whole section I'm adding some margin in bottom or padding so going to the edit section going to advanced tab and from padding first making it to unlink and for bottom I'm adding 80 pixel and also in the top I'm adding 20 and also for the top section we can set it as padding so from advanced tab we can move this margin to 0 and for top padding I'm adding 50 pixel top all right so this section is done and I'm saving it and also if we check the responsive view for this section going to tablet so it's look good on tablet and also for the phone view so it looks good on phone also going back and now in the similar way I'm going to create a third section about me so simply we can duplicate this title area and now I'm moving it to down and we can change the title text to about me and in the similar way we can take a new section this time I'm taking two column structure and we can copy the section style so going to the outer section right click copy and going here paste style so it's adding the padding for top and bottom and now for the left area I'm taking a image so going here here is the image module I'm taking this one and here we can upload the image for our own going to upload the image so here you can upload your own image and on the right side here I'm going to add some text so first I'm going to add a title and typing hi I'm Farjana and this time I'm changing the font style going to style tab and typography for typography I'm taking the page title so it's look kind of different and typography I'm changing the font size to 22 looks good and next I'm adding some text so going here and text editor now here I'm going to add some dummy text so for that I'm going to leave some website and from here I'm taking some dummy text and paste it here and after that I'm going to add a read more button so we can copy this button from here and paste it and here we can add the background color to this pink color so going to style tab and button color I'm going to add this light pink and the text color I'm going to add this black color and changing the text to read more and for this whole section we can decrease the section width so going to edit section and from here we can set a width 768 and we can also decrease some text from the right side and now we can set the text alignment to vertically center going to edit section and the vertical alignment to middle and here we can also increase the spacing between this text and image so column gap we can make it to extended and from the right side we can also remove some text okay looks good and for this whole section we can set a different background color than the first one so going to edit this section first going to style tab and background type going to background color so here I'm selecting the light BG so it's slightly different 
then the white color and in the similar way going to the edit section going to style tab from background type i'm selecting the color to light bg all right so this section is done so finally we can check also the responsive view i am going to the tablet for this section tablet looks good and go to the phone view for the phone view if you want to decrease the spacing between the sections you can also do that for example i'm going to the top section going to advanced and padding top making it to unlink for top i'm adding 30 pixel and also for the second section going to advance making it to unlink and padding bottom I'm adding 50 pixel looks okay and in the similar way for this section making it to unlink and for bottom I'm adding 50 pixel and also for the top section from padding making it to unlink and for top i'm adding 30 pixel and finally save changes and finally i'm going back to the desktop view and going to make our next section testimonial in the similar way i'm going to duplicate this title area going to duplicate and moving it to next and here i am changing the title text to testimonial and also changing the background color to white going to style tab and from here changing it to white and also going to duplicate this one moving it to down and for this section i am changing the section width to default and here I'm going to remove the image and also all this text and also buttons and here also changing the background color to white going to style tab and from here changing the background color to white and now I'm taking a testimonial for the first one I'm searching for testimonial and we can take this one it's coming from our essential add-ons plugin and here we have to upload a image for our clients i'm going to upload some images for testimonial i'm taking this one and here we can add our testimonial text for example i'm taking some dummy text and also here is the username and here is the company name so it's coming from here we can change it from here and finally if we scroll down here is the rating display so from here we can change our rating number to anyone for now i'm making it off and for this text we can change the font style so going to the style tab and here is the color typography and spacing so here is the username color we can change the font style so here we can change the font weight to bold and color is okay and also for testimonial text we can make it to dark and we can also change this quotation icon so quotation style we can change this color to our light pink and finally you can change the overall testimonial style so going to testimonial styles and from here you can change it to a different style okay so here you can keep this style and alignment we can make it to center and the image style i'm going to the image style and from here we can select the rounded avatar and for the quotation we can also move it to down going to quotation style 
so I am making it to the bottom area looks good and finally we can also decrease the image size so for that going to testimonial image style and from here image width we can make it to 100 pixel okay it looks good and now we can duplicate this one and the second one moving to the right side and for this one we can also change the image all right so testimonial section is done and also for the tablet view and for the phone view it looks perfect now going back to the desktop and save this section now in the similar way i'm going to create our last section the block section so going to duplicate this one and also going to duplicate this section now for this one i'm also changing the background color to the opposite one going to style tab and the color I'm making to light BG and also for this section changing the color to light BG and here removing this module in fact we can delete this whole column so now this is the one column structure and here I'm changing the text to featured blog post and here I'm taking the blog module so now searching for blog and this is coming from our essential add-ons post grid so I'm taking this one now I don't have any blog post so before styling this area I need to upload some blog post so for now I'm saving this page and now going back to the dashboard and before going to the dashboard we can also minimize the full screen mode of the pages so click on these three dots on the right side and here full screen mode we can make it off so now we can also see our WordPress menu from the left side so going to the post and now I'm going to create a new post so here we have to add the post title I'm typing a title like how to make a WordPress website and here we have to add our blog post content so for now I'm adding some dummy text and paste it here and if you are not familiar with the blog post options so I can show you some basic changes which you can did with this page editor like here if we want to change any text to bold so select this text and make it to bold and here we can add some more style like italic style and here is the link so if we want to add any word to a specific URL so select this and here is the link option so from here we can set a specific URL and we can also set this link will be open in a new tab or not I'm saving it and now we can see this text is linked and also from here we can change our text alignment like we can change the alignment to center or right and also from here we can change our font style to a heading or list style or quote style and here if we want to add some image or any other module so we can also do that just keep our cursor here and from the right side here is the plus icon so from here we will find more blocks like here is the code here is the gallery here is the image so from here we can upload any image for example I'm going to upload this image and we can also resize our image so for now I'm leaving it as it is and from the right side if we scroll down here is the category so we can create some specific category for our blog post for example here I'm going to create a new category and here I'm typing the category name to WordPress website and add new category 
and in the similar way we can add more categories and also here is the options for tags so here we can add some tags like wordpress and enter then tutorial enter so this tags will help for SEO and finally here is the featured image so I'm going to upload a featured image going to upload I'm taking this one and set featured image and also here is another options for excerpt so we can add some short details about our blog post here so here I'm also adding some text for excerpt and finally I'm saving this page so in the similar way I'm going to create some more blog post so going to all post and here we'll find a options EA duplicator with these options we can easily duplicate our blog post and then we can customize it so going to duplicate and now I'm going to edit this blog post and here I'm changing the title to photography and here I'm changing the category to photography website and going to add new category and finally changing the featured image and set featured image and finally publish now I'm going back to the all post and in the similar way I'm going to create some more blog post very quickly all right I have uploaded some more blog post very quickly now if I go to my pages and go to the home page and edit with Elementor scroll down and here we can see some blog post is showing so now if I go to the edit and from here we can see this coming from our blog post and here we can also customize our blog post by author by category by tags and here post per page I'm selecting three and here order by date by default this is descending so that's mean the last post will show in first or we can set it to ascending so the older post will show in first then layout settings so from here the column this is now four column we can set it to three column structure and the layout is masonry so we can make it to grid layout looks good and here here is the author information post date so if we want to remove the date author read more we can also do that so here is some more options we can hide the excerpt which is showing here and the show more button we can hide it and show meta so if we want to hide the avatar if we want to hide the author name we can also hide from here first I'm going to the style tab and select style so here we will find some default style for this blog post here is style 2 and here is the another style for now I'm leaving the style 2 and for font style I'm going to color typography and style and here is the title color and also this color is showing in hover we can also change this color and the font typography I'm going here font typography is okay we can change the font size and also for this one if I check the except font typography it's showing the Nunito font and font size looks okay and here we can also increase the spacing between this date and excerpt so here we can add some margin bottom so making it to unlink and bottom margin for except we can add 10 pixel looks good and for the border if we want to remove the border of this box we can also do that so going to post grid style and border type we can make it to solid and border width we can make it to zero so now the border is removed and finally here if we want to decrease the spacing top of this title so going there color typography and spacing and title style for margin I'm first making it to unlink and we can see the space is reduced 
and for the bottom area we can add 5 pixel looks good so our blog area is done and finally save changes and if you also check the responsive view for this blog section for phone it looks good and also for tablet looks good so our home page is done and now I'm going back to view page after completing our home page if we check the URL we can see the home page is showing in a page URL so if I go to the main URL we can see the home page is not showing here so first I'm making the home page to our default page so for that going to customize going to home page settings and here I'm selecting a static page and for home page I'm selecting this home page and now publish and going back so you can see our home page is now working as our default page so the next step is going to customize our header and footer area so for that I'm going to the dashboard again and for header and footer area I have already installed a plugin Elementor header footer so if I go to the appearance and here is the Elementor header and footer builder so I'm going here if we use the Elementor Pro versions we need not to install this plugin we will get these options by default so for now I'm going from here and go to add new here is some options for subscription I'm skipping it first creating title header and type of template I'm making it to header and display on the entire website and we can keep this default and going to publish and now going to edit with Elementor so here we can also start designing our header area using Elementor Builder so this time I'm not going to start from scratch if I go to a different URL so here I have already designed the complete website including header footer and all pages so I have designed the header footer and all pages previously so this time I'm not going to make all this custom area from scratch I have already exported this header area footer area and all pages and I will also leave this JSON file link in my description so you can also download those files from my description link so I'm going to import the header area going to add template my templates and import template after downloading you will find a folder named Elementor templates and here we will find a header.json and going to insert yes so here will show our logo so it will take the site logo by default so we have to upload the site logo first and here is the menu we did not create any menu before designing this area we have to create our own menu so first I am saving this page and if I go to the home page we can see our header is working but we have to upload our logo we have to create menu all these things first so before uploading our logo I'm going to create my own logo so if you don't have your own logo I'll show you how you can create our own logo for free so for that I'm going to logo maker skipping e dot com create a new design and here I'm trying to make a simple logo with only fonts so taking the font first and here I'm typing my name Farjana Roshit and also going to duplicate this one and the second text will be photography now for the first one I'm changing the font family so from here I'm going to handwriting and here I'm trying to use a similar font which we used to our website so I'm using the bad script and we can also increase the font size and I'm changing the color to black and for the second font we can use the simple font I'm going to the designer pics and here I'm trying to find a similar font 
Lunito. And here I'm typing with the uppercase font and changing the font color to black. And I'm changing the font size. Moving it to right. Alright, so we are done. And now I'm going to save this logo. So for that on the right top side, here is save logo and click on this no thanks download low resolution file saving it and if i go to the download folder here is our logo I'm changing the name to logo and now i'm going to upload our logo so for that going to customize going to side identity and from here we can upload our logo select I skip cropping so you can see our logo is showing and save it now going back and for logo if you want to make your logo with the professionals or from an expert that case you can go to fiber.com I will leave this link in my description so you can check from there and here you have to create your account for now I'm leaving it and here if you search with the logo design or logo design service so here we will find tons of services these are basically some offer which are providing by logo design experts so they will design a professional logo in very reasonable price so you can check their services from here for example if I go to this one you can see their service is started from $25 and their standard price is also higher but you can get a basic logo under $25 so these are really very affordable price you can check from here alright so I'm leaving it and for now our logo is uploaded and next step our menu so before creating our menu I'm going to create some other pages very quickly so I'm going to the dashboard now and going to pages and here I'm going to create some other pages like about me publish add new then portfolio publish and we can also create some single portfolio page like wedding couples and newborn then I'm creating blog page pricing and finally the contact page contact and publish now I'm going to create our first menu going to appearance and menu and from here I'm creating main menu or here you can type anything then create menu and from the left side we can see all the pages and here is view all page I'm selecting all then add to menu and from here we can rearrange our pages so first will be home then about then we can add the portfolio and under portfolio I am setting as a sub menu wedding then couples and newborn then we can set the pricing blog and contact alright then display location we can set it to header footer and save menu and now if I go to our header customizer so going to elementor header and footer builder and for the header going to edit with Elementor and now we can see our menu is showing here from the left side we can select the main menu and here if we have multiple menu so from here we can select any other menu and for the logo if we want to increase the logo size just click here and going to style tab here is the width we can move it to pixel and we can increase the logo size and from the left side here will be the social icon 
for first one here is the facebook and if we want to add your facebook url we can set a url and instead of facebook if we want to add any other icon like go here and here we will find linkedin twitter or anything so we can search here with pinterest so we can change it to pinterest and now if we want to move the icon from bottom to top we can also do that and if we want to add a new item like we can add facebook in the bottom so here i'm searching for facebook and here we can add our facebook link and going to the style tab from here we have to select the color for icon color i am selecting this black color so now it's showing and from here if we want to change the alignment so we can also change it for now all is good and i'm going to save it and here on the right side here i have added a text email me so instead of email me you can change the text to anything and here you can add a link or page url to this text so I'm done for this header now and now if I go to our page you can see our header area is done and now in the similar way we can create our footer area again going to dashboard going to appearance and header footer builder going to add new and skip these options and this time the title will be footer and type of template we can set to footer and display on i'm making it to entire website and then publish and now going to edit with elementor and in a similar way i'm going to add template my templates and also going to import the footer area so going to import template going to elementor and templates and here we will find footer.json and footer going to insert yes so our footer is imported in the left side here is showing the social icon we have to change the color i'm changing it to this black color and here is our logo we can also change the logo size going to style tab and here is some copyright text we can add our own copyright and on the right side here i have added some quick links for our pages so here is more flexibility you can add your own content or you can change this design if you want and in the top area here i have added a instagram feed widgets so it's coming from a different plugin so i have to set this instagram feed from a different location so before that i am saving it and going back to the dashboard again and for instagram in the bottom area here we will find a tab instagram feed and from here we can connect our instagram account by manually or here we can connect our account directly so go here personal my instagram account is personal here i'm going to connect this account to one of my test account so going to connect going to allow and connect this account so for that you have to log in to your instagram account so it's now connected automatically with our instagram account and save changes here is some more settings we can check all this check for new post every one hour so it will be updated after one hour and then here is some customization option so from here you can set the width of feed 100 percent height of feed layout these are pro no matter we can go with the free version only and number of photos we can set here to 8 and number of columns we can set to 8 and padding around image we can leave it as it is and save changes and also here is some more options like newest to oldest in this state if we check our website if i go to the visit website and scroll down we can see this is the instagram feed is coming to my website so here is showing the header feed and by default here is showing the load more button and the follow on instagram so you can keep these buttons 
so when you click on this load more here will load more images and this will link to our Instagram account so for now I'm hiding this button for header I'm hiding it and also for load more button I'm also leaving it and save changes and now if we refresh you can see our load more button and the header is moved and also here is still the follow on Instagram button so we can also leave it here is our follow button I'm disabling it and finally save changes and now refresh so all this button is removed and finally we can change the background color similar as the top area color so it will look good and now I'm going to again the header footer builder going to the footer edit with elementor and for this top section going to edit style tab and color we can set the light bg and save it and now if we refresh our page so our background color is updated and finally if we want to decrease the spacing in footer area top and bottom so you can also do that i'm going to the edit section going to advanced tab and here by default is 70 we can make it to 50 pixel top and bottom and save changes and also if we check the responsive view for this footer we can see it's already responsive and also for tablet it looks good so now if we refresh our footer area so now our footer area is done all right so our footer area header area and the home page is done and next i'm going to design our all others pages so now i'm going to about me page and from here going to edit page and now going to edit with elementor and in the similar way first going to hide this page title so going to settings from the left bottom corner and here is hide title save it and this time i'm going to import this page design so going here add template and going to my template then here is import template select files element to templates and from here here is about.json i'm selecting this one and open and here is our about page going to insert all right so our page is added just need to change some color code for the title click here going to style tab and the text color we have to set it to white and for this button going to style tab and text color i'm setting it to the text color and the testimonial section is good all others is okay and save changes and also if we check the responsive mode for phone view it's look good here we can change this icon size for testimonial going to style tab and here is the quotation style here is the typography we can change the size to 12 we can change the position and in the similar way copy the style and paste the style here and going to the tablet view this looks good and finally save changes and now if we want to add our own text instead of this dummy text just select the text and from the left side we can add our own text and for the images just click here and from the left side we can add our own image in the similar way for testimonial going to content and from here we can add our own text username and company name is coming from here and also the image so here is the image all right so our 
about page is done and now going to the view page next going to the portfolio page and in the similar way I'm also going to import this page design going to edit page edit with Elementor and first going to hide the page title going to settings hide title then going to import template add template my templates and import template then select file and here is portfolio.json from here I'm getting some errors so I'm going to import all the templates first from our dashboard and templates area going to dashboard and going to templates from here we will find the option import templates and here I'm going to import all the templates all right so I have imported all page layouts from here and now if I go back to my portfolio page and refresh it again and from here going to add template my templates and here is our portfolio page going to insert and here in the similar way just changing the text color to white going to style tab and text color making it to white and here will be our portfolio category so here we can link this text to our specific portfolio pages so for example going here wedding and here I'm going to add this text to wedding page so here we can add the wedding page link with this text so for example if I go to the website and here is our wedding page going here and going to copy this URL and paste it here and save changes in the similar way we can add link couple pages and newborn page going to couples and from here couple copy link paste it here and also to newborn and going to copy link and paste it now save changes and from here if you want to change the images just click here going to style tab and from here we can upload our own image and finally if we check the responsive view for this page you can see it's look good on phone and also for the tablet view it looks perfect now going back to the view page and in the similar way if I go to the wedding page so in this page we can add the specific image gallery related to wedding photography so in the similar way going to edit page going to edit with Elementor first going to hide the page title going to settings and hide title then going to import page going to my templates and here is the wedding page going to insert yes first changing the text color going to style tab text color to white and here this is a image gallery so here we can upload all images related to wedding photography if we want to add our own image just click on this edit icon and from the left side here is the gallery items so here is the images item 1 if we scroll down here is the image item 2 here is another image so from here we can add our own images and this time I have added the masonry grid layout if we want to change the layout mode so going to settings and here is the grid style so by default here I have added the masonry layout if we want to change it to grid layout so that case all images will show in same size but personally I like to use the masonry for this image gallery and here if we click on any single image so it will be popped up in a light box mode and finally if we check the responsive view we can see it looks good on phone view 
and also in tablet view it looks good all right now save changes and going back to view page in the similar way going to the newborn edit page edit with elementor and from settings hide the page title going to add template my templates and here is the newborn page going to insert and in the similar way first going to change the text color going to style tab text color to white and here is the image gallery so here you can upload your own image for a specific category now save changes and going to view page and in the similar way you can create another pages for couples or in the similar way you can add more category pages like this and next going to pricing going to edit page going to edit with elementor and in the similar way going to settings and hide title going to add template my templates and from here you can see here is the pricing going to insert first going to change the title text color style tab text color to white and here here is some packages so here I have created three packages you can add your own package here is the wedding couples and newborn and here is the package description here is the price so you can change all this text and in the similar way if you want to duplicate the sections just go to the main sections and duplicate and in the similar way you can add more packages if you want and now I'm going to remove the second one and here if you want to delete the last one you can also do that just select the third column and delete so now you can set the two type package so here you can edit the packages as per your need I'm going back and here is the button I'm changing the button color going to style tab and button text color making it to black and here is some FAQ section so you can also change the color going to FAQ style tab tab style we can change the hover style color going to hover and text color we can set it to dark and sorry here is the background color you can set it to the accent color and the text color you can set it to the black so on hover it's now looking like this and on the active state going to active and we can change the background color to this accent color and text color to dark and save changes and finally if I check the responsive view we can see here is the phone view phone view looks good and also for the tablet it looks good now going back to the view page so pricing page is done and then going to the blog page going to edit page and edit with Elementor and in the similar way going to settings hide title and add template my templates here is the blog page going to insert yes now changing the title text going to style tab text color to white and if we scroll down we can see our blog post is showing and here we can change the blog post title going to edit going to style tab and color typography and spacing then from here title color I'm changing it to dark and title hover color I'm also changing it to dark and the excerpt color also the dark color and in the similar way we can change the others font style here I have added the masonry grid style for this block we want to add the default grid style so going to content 
and going to layout settings so from here by default here I have added the masonry if we want to add the grid so now it's showing the grid style but I like to use the masonry so it will cover the blank and white spaces between our post and also checking the responsive view phone view looks good and also tablet view tablet view also looks good finally save changes and going back to the view page so blog page is done and finally going to the contact going to edit page edit with elementor and going to settings and hide title then going to add template my templates and here is the contact page going to insert and now in the similar way going to change the title text color going to style tab text color to white and here if we scroll down all is good and on the right side if we click here here will show the WP form so we have to create the form first so for now I'm saving this page and going back to the dashboard going to dashboard I have already installed the WP form plugin before so now I'm going to the WP form and from here we have to create a form create your form and from here here is different options we can select the blank form simple contact form and here is some more options for now I'm going with the simple contact form use template and here is the default simple form name email and the message box if we check the another website go to the contact here is a form like this so now I'm going to create a form like this one so first one is the name then email so here is the name but here is the first name and the last name format I'm going to change this format going to edit and here is the name field the format first and last we can make it too simple then email field and then the phone number so I'm going here to add a new field going to add field and for phone number we can take the number field and here I'm changing the level to phone number and from here we can make this field to mandatory or not from here and also here is some advanced option we can set the field size to medium or you can set it to large so it will take the full width and also I'm making the email and name field to large going to advance and from here making it to large for name making it to large and in the advanced option here we'll find some more options like here we can set our placeholder or default value and also here is options to add CSS class name so using CSS class we can add more custom style with CSS code for now I'm leaving all this as default and the next field is event date or session date so going to copy this text and here I'm going to add another field going to add field and this time I'm taking a single line text and changing the level to event session or date so here people will type a specific date for their events going to advance and field size to large and then here is the message box so here is already a message box going to advance making it to large or for now we can make it to medium and here is some more options you can set a specific limit for text length for now I'm leaving it as it is and the submit button so here if we want to change the submit button text we can change it from here 
and here is the text for button loading so by default here is showing the sending and also here is some more options like going to notification so here all the input field information will redirect to this admin email address so here we can put our best email address instead of the admin email address of this wordpress website and then here is the email subject we can change this line then from name email from this name and from email address and here is all field and finally here is the confirmation option so after submitting the form people can see this success message will show thanks for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly so we can change this text from here and also here we'll find some more options like after submitting form people will redirect to a different page or a different URL for now all is okay and I'm saving this form and now if we refresh the contact page and now click on this form here is the select form we can see here is our new form and here we can change some form style if we want going to style tab here is the submit button we can change the background color to the accent color and on hover style going to change the background color like this so all is good and in the left side you can add your own image and in the bottom area here I have added some contact information so here you can add your email address here is your email address and then here is a link with your email address I have set to mail to and the email address so when people click on this email it will redirect it to the email pop-up and also similar way here is the phone number and here I have added the link to call to this phone number and finally here is the Instagram username so instead of this you can add anything as you want and finally if I check the responsive view you can see it looks good on phone and on tablet it looks good finally save this page and going back to the view page so contact page is done and now going back to the home page finally from the header and footer area if we want to link the text like email me and in the footer area here is some quick link so we can add the page link with this text and from the top area email me we can also link this text to our contact page all right so we are good to go and here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial